Hello and welcome to this video tutorial by ComputerGaga.com where we are going to look at how to calculate a future date in Excel and we're going to look at three different techniques for doing this uh, depending on your requirements now first of all with this data on this spreadsheet we're just going to look at a real simple formula literally just to create a future date a specified number of days in the future so for example in cell C3 here if I wanted 90 days in the future I could put equals select the date that I, I want as a kind of starting date and literally just plus 90 on top of it and that will find the date in 90 days time which in this example would give me the 15th of September now there's nothing wrong with that example, that is absolutely fine. But it may be that you would like to include weekends or other days off the project or holidays, uh, whatever these may be that you want to exclude from that calculation. So I'm just going to delete that date and I'm going to look at using a function called the workday function, which as we can see it says it returns a date uh, before or after a specified number of work days so with this work day function if I finish that off and put our bracket it will ask us for the start date which will be cell B3 again in this example it will ask us for how many days which I'm going to go for 90 and then one other question is whether we want to include holidays or not now this workday function will exclude weekends and by that it's talking about the standard kind of UK US office hours of basically Saturday and Sunday being the weekend now there's no say so that's going to match what you need so we're going to look at another approach after this with the assumption that that is okay for most people I could just put a closing bracket here and run with that the question holidays is completely optional you don't need to include holidays and it was the 15th of September it's now the 21st of October 90 days time so clearly it is excluding the weekends there is a much later date it's 90 working days now if I open that formula back up again let's look at uh, what do we have sorry the 21st of October it was if I open the formula back up again, this holidays question at the end, to include that, I would just put a comma after 90, and you'd need to have these dates listed somewhere on maybe another sheet of this workbook or on some kind of range. For this example, this is literally next door here, I've got them in cells E2 and E3, um, which at the time of writing this, uh, the 19th is this Thursday, it's a Tuesday uh, now for me and uh, the 24th the date I can't see on my screen at the moment because the formulas on top of it is the following Tuesday so these are working days uh, I'm now going to make them non-working which will give us the 23rd of October rather than the 21st as it is so now it's two days later because it's had to exclude them two dates as they are for whatever reason days to exclude yeah if you're working with a project here maybe days off the project for whatever reason uh, or they could literally just be bank holidays okay so the last example of calculating a date in the future there is a function called workday international intl now i think i'm right in saying that this came out in excel 2010 so you may not have this feature and you may want to be clever with your list of holidays or find some other approach uh, to achieve this if you don't have it but the extra special bit about this function rather than the standard workday is that you can customize the weekend parameters so if you're not happy with the Saturday Sunday weekend we can use Workday International to specify a start date and you know, how many days in the future 
or past, although we're working with a future date here, that we'd like to calculate. We then specify the type of weekend we're using. Now this is completely optional, so it can be used in the same way as the workday function. Uh, Saturday and Sunday being the default there. But uh, for the sake of changing it, I could say that it's Sunday, Monday in this example. I'll go with that. And then you've got the other question on holidays here. Also completely optional. But as I've got them written there, I can include. And now I'm using the function saying that Sundays and Mondays are the weekend. And we can see in this example it hasn't had any effect on the future date. But that all depends what dates you're using. Uh, that's not to say that it won't. Okay, now I wanted to show one other thing with that. And if I go back into this formula, I just wanted to show that where it asks you for the weekend, and when I was doing this, it gave us this nice list to pick from. You know, you may be trying to achieve something that's not available in that list. So it's definitely worth mentioning that you're allowed to type your own string entries into this function. And what I mean by that is, first of all, we'd need the string, you know, these uh, inverted quotation marks. But we can put a bunch of zeros and ones, seven of them all in all, because they represent the days of a seven-day week. A zero to indicate a non-working, and the one, sorry, a zero to indicate a working, and a 1 to indicate a non-working. So for example, if I put 0, 0, 0, 0, this is saying that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are working days, followed by 1, 1, 1, a Friday, Saturday, Sunday are non-working. So if I put my closing string there and run with that, this is enabling me to say that Friday, Saturday and Sunday on non-working days because that's not an option in this list so it's giving me the opportunity to customize and create our own parameters and on top of that I'm including the holidays on the side as well so now when we run it I've got something different we've got the 25th of November so it's, it was uh, the 23rd of October I think so it's a lot longer in the future now as it's had to include you know the Fridays in addition to that so in this video we've looked at a few different ways there of calculating a future date from a simple formula just plus in 90 days that might meet your objectives through to using the workday function and then workday international which allows you to customize it even further but is only available in the, in the latest versions of Excel. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergargar.com.